Someone might ask, are there worms in all strawberries? So I'm sure tiny worms crawling their way out of the fruit while others show every other type of bug there is. So you can verify tiny translucent worms can in fact live in your strawberries. To help remove pesticides and bacteria, rinse your fresh strawberries either in salt water or in vinegar water which I'm going to be showing you that I'm going to be showing you like two methods one for organic strawberries and one for just regular strawberries now I bought my regular strawberries from Costco and the organic one I bought from Aldi so what you're going to be needing is strawberry which is what is the main cause you need your vinegar you need uh, water and you need baking soda yes baking soda so your first step will be to wash the strawberry in the mixture of water baking soda and vinegar the reason is the vinegar is really great at killing mold worms and bacteria and all those gooey stuff or even e coli and all those other dangerous stuff and the baking soda is great at removing pesticide yes i said it baking soda try it out if you haven't actually there is studies that shown to back it up that it's better removing pesticide residue from the vegetable than bleach because i know some people use bleach when they're washing their um their their fruit and you know this baking soda is less ash but really really effective all you need to do is take combination of one part white vinegar and two part water and then you add a teaspoon of baking soda but you have to add the baking soda gently so it doesn't explode <laughs> you know that baking soda reacts to acidity then we add the strawberries when we have this mix just you know you rub them gently so you don't bruise it just you know in every five minutes you leave it to sit for like 12 to actually 15 minutes will be better in order for it to remove all the pesticide mold worms and all those gooey stuff in it okay and don't worry the strawberries will not absorb the vinegar so just remember every five minutes rub it and that's it now then you take it out and place it on you know actually before you put it on your line paper raise it in a rod cold running water one more time and then you place it in your line tray paper just use paper towel and put it on your tray for it to absorb excess liquid then when it's air dry get a bowl and line it again with another paper all right this will also help to absorb it and then you just go ahead and put it in your fridge this process will actually help the strawberry to last a week if not even over a week now this other strawberry is the organic one i got from aldi with this one i didn't use baking soda though you can still if you wanna we're not so much worried about pesticide because they are organic so you just run it in the water and add a cup of um, vinegar is enough for this and you gently or if you have a fruit brush you use your fruit, fruit brush and just you know wash it out before eating or before storing it always remember washing produce helps remove chemical residue and dirt so i added a uh, kosher salt here you can add sea salt i mean it's amazing even if you don't have vinegar you can go ahead and just use like a cup of salt and water in two cups of water and then so uh, soak your strawberry for like five minutes and then raise it out in cool water and you're good to go so this second method is good if you bought the organic remember the other one wasn't organic this is organic okay so this is just all i'm doing here so that i could store it strawberry is a huge deal in my home my kids love strawberry so much so i have to always have it so uh, for storing this one i just you know cut off the green part you know and put it in the freezer because most times this organic one is what i use for all the smoothies that we make so it makes it easier when you cut off the green part and then you know store it so when you want to use it you just bring it and toss it into your your blender and there you go you have your beautiful smoothie so you see what i'm doing here i'm just patting dry you know the strawberry i don't really have time anymore so patting it dry and then putting it in a bowl meanwhile do not forget you have to line your bowl so that with paper towel so it can absorb excess um liquid so it can last trust me this can even last up to two weeks if it is well taken care of okay 
and, and you don't have to waste money like I used to do anymore, all right? So, 15 minutes it's done. So, I'm returning the strawberry. That's the previous one we did with the baking soda. Look at all the gooey stuff I got from there. A lot. It was actually more than this. I just realized that I didn't show it. So, I decided to show this one. So, return it back in the top and just run it. Just feel like one a minute. Run it all through so you can, you know, remove whatever it is that is remaining there and after this you proceed and put it on the line tray and allow it to air dry some people go ahead and dehydrate or you know whatever way you still want to but this is what i do i put it in line tray and i give it like minimum of 30 minutes to dry and then i transfer it into my bowl and voila it's ready so anytime i'm not worried when i'm not home and the kids want strawberry i know when they open the fridge and take it they are eating a clean fruit free of toxic chemicals that were sprayed on on it and all the residues of 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 the pesticides okay so basically that's just what i did it's important to keep strawberries very dry and cold so you know when you're done with this make sure you put it in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it okay like i said ideally within seven days or you know depends maybe two weeks on my one of my friends said has lasted for two weeks and i believe it okay so you see this is the strawberry and it's ready to go now it's going into the fridge but trust me this strawberry will last in my house for for five days because my kids are gonna just gulp it down and i like to take my smoothie to work too so you know and like pine cakes and other things so anyway thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoy this please kind of like the video share the video and subscribe if you haven't. See you some other time. Bye.